Hello. Welcome back. Uh, this is Sumi. Yeah, this is ep- episode two of Sumi Horoboshi. Get ready for the, all the feels and all the fun stuff. I'm Water excited guns. to find out how we're pronouncing this one incorrectly. Sumi Horoboshi. I'm sure that's right. Sumi Horoboshi. Horoboshi. Well, yeah, it's it's, it's, it's going to be the Boshi or, bo- or We'll find or out. Boshi. We'll find out about how we're doing it wrong in the comments. Good luck. Have fun, guys. Rip us a new one. Like always. Um, mm, what's happening? Yeah, that was a, that was a scene that happened. What? Yeah, uh, a nice long, was, you know, it was just, scene. Just a chill uh, time. I don't actually know, you know if that scene was long or if we just tangented that much. I think it was both. Uh, it definitely was a bit of both. Definitely both. Um, it was a fantastic scene. Yeah. How did you feel about that scene? Did you have fun? I did. Was, was that all that you had, or did you have a theory? Because I feel like there were some side comments made to the grander nature of things that might have been happening in there. I mean, what did you want to? What did you want to talk about, boy? I don't know, like the the actual like you know gunplay scene itself mm. is interesting to consider whether it's happened in previous arcs or not. It's kind of implied that other things that have happened in previous arcs mm-hmm. have happened um, sure. there, such as the game of tag. Mm-hmm. Um, but like zombie tag, yeah. It uh, I don't know. It, there, there's a lot of lines in there that seem to poke at underlying thematics what? while just being super goofy. They were, all, they were very goofy. Um, like Mion's line about, uh, you know, representation that I pointed out and yeah. how she was being viewed and holding yeah. on to things. Um, yeah. I'm trying to think of any others off the top of my head, but they're not leaping out at me. It's okay. I, like, I get what you're driving mm. at. That, like, and this is the thing that we love about Rukashi that he is, he's, you know, he does the horror stuff and he does the mystery stuff, but he also does the slice of life stuff and the silly group of fun times. And he's getting better at putting these really poignant statements in to his like goofy fun times, mm. even though like that tonally felt very like, even the like opening scenes of, of Unikakashi back in the day. Um, but he manages to slip a lot more like, Oh, like you could take that statement a couple of ways. Mm. Um, which I'm sure we'll be coming back to, uh, you know, maybe at the end of the arc. Uh, but yeah, um, I I get what you mean, especially with that mention of Mion being like, this is basically my philosophy on life, um, <laughs> which is fantastic. Yeah, and I mean, like, as with a lot of the club scenes, a lot of them explore how the characters act in certain situations, but like mm-hmm. goofed up. Um and it was fun seeing Rena get to use a trap, even if the trap failed, she had to just smash yeah. a water gun and set her head like an egg. So it should be fun to see how that comes back around at the end when we inevitably end up killing someone. Nah. So excited to see who. What? Uh, is it going to be Tepe? Nah. This is going to be. Uh, is it going to be uh, Rena's parents if they even exist? It's a great question. Is it going to be Keiji? I hope it's Keiji. I no, hope that, Keiji I hope that whoever was climbing up that hill in the opening scene wasn't even Keiji at all. It's someone else that's uh. running. From responsibility Some random Keiji's person. death. Oh, dude, what if, like, it was Keiichi who got killed and, and it was Satoshi walking up that hill, dude? What if that's the bait and switch? I mean, maybe. What if Satoshi's maybe just here for some maybe reason? Maybe it is. He's just hanging out. It's like, yo, I came back from that train ride. I'm here now to, like, knows? say hi to Rena. He's just been stuck on the Shinkansen for that long. Yeah, dude. He just got stuck on the train, listening to his Walkman, just going around and around in circles. That's a good battery on that Walkman. It is an excellent battery. They make them at Nerve. Alrighty. <laughs> um, and the, the other one was that, like, that tip uh, with with definitely not Rika. Um, mm. Like, it's interesting to talk about, you know, I've kind of as a throwaway mentioned, you know, how I'm starting to change my perspective on the repeating timelines thing because mm. it's one of these things where you know, I always pointed out that Rika was the character that they keep saying things about that went without saying until you pointed them out. Yep. And that implied to me that we were going to get a lot more of Rika going forwards. So I've been kind of surprised as to how little we're actually getting. Mm. And it occurred to me that maybe all of these side throwaway lines and tips from voiceless characters are meant to be Rika. Like, obviously you're using... You know, Rika's spooky voice for them, which maybe which is fun. gives it away. Spooky voices are great. Nothing like is it's, given it's away. Still, it's still down to me to understand the implications of that, mm. regardless of your performance. Mm. Um, and I think that given uh, people's 
more open reception of magic when they come to Umineko from Higurashi first. I think given, uh, you know, the way that Rika speaks about things in Arc 4 with Akasaka, I think given how uh, Rika seems to know a lot more and the whole implied deity thing, um, and, you know, starting to talk about all of the chance of getting things and comparing that with the tips in Arc 4 as to the one we just got there, we're definitely starting to touch more on a, I guess, literal interpretation of the repeating timelines where mm. they're actually flowing back into each other. Like, we've had that moment, uh, I think it was the start of Arc 3, where, like, Keiichi mentioned Uishi's name in his narration before Uishi introduced himself for the first time in that time loop. Mm. Um, and, you know, other similar moments. Uh, so, so we're just calling them time loops now. We're not calling them arcs. Them, is that what you... Have you internalized that? Is that how you feel? No, no. But, like, that's, you know, the the implication I think we're getting at. Yeah. I obviously still much prefer looking at things with the, like, what is the metaphor to reality that we're dealing with here? Sure. I mean, um, you have a you have an authorship theory to attend to. You're still trying to... Uh, you still feel like that's something that holds water? Not as such, because this story hasn't... Um, hasn't really raised authorship again since mm -hmm. like the throwaway lines at the end of each arc is to like this is who's writing the note mm -hmm. that seems to be like the limit of it right yeah um i do wonder then like rather than being a repeating time if my interpretation of this is going to end up something closer to you know this is they've figured out what the real underlying problem of the village is and they're going to sit down and write out what they think happened each and, you know, Rika's the one in the story who has the knowledge that's carried across between them. Like, mm -hmm. you know, let's say that everyone in the who who is attributed as an author in each of these mm. uh, found out about the gas attack or whatever and left these notes to leave clues to find out what was going on or something. Mm. Um, that doesn't seem to be a lot of anything pointing at that yeah um that's just me kind of drawing lines where there is barely anything which is fine i mean that's half the fun of this right yeah it's a mystery we're supposed to try and figure out what's going on and if you present like a solution that isn't like isn't right or is right or whatever like that's fine that's half the fun of reading these damn things <laughs> right yeah and plus <laughs> like um you know, one of the things is when I came into this story, I was expecting that the question would be, would the, is it magic or is it humans? Mm -hmm. And the answer would be it's both. Mm -hmm. And the question is, how do we interpret it being both? And I'm starting to think that maybe given the way I've seen people exit Higurashi in terms of how they approach things, um, perhaps the best way to deal with this is to accept it with magic first and then start to see how the magic is reflecting what's actually happening do you think or even if it is reflecting anything do you think that after seeing so many people come out of here Ashi and be more willing to accept a magical explanation has uh i mean changed it's obviously changed your perspective but has it, has it ruined it or has it impacted it negatively ah! I mean, I feel like Ben's <laughs> trying to trying to get me to preach here so he doesn't have to make the argument himself. I'm not interested in arguing. Uh, I'm the one who asking the question, sir. Yeah, but, uh, like, I don't know, ruined is a very strong word. I have always been of the opinion that if a story cannot stand up to spoilers, then it is probably not worth, you know, the time. Mm. Um, not to say that reading with spoilers is a, is, you know, equivalent experience, mm. but just that it doesn't ruin it. Yeah. Um... And, like, I don't know. It's obviously changed my perspective. It's something that I definitely, you know... All that it's done is it's given... On, on the, the scales of justice of mag magic and humans, it's just put an extra weight on one side. It hasn't doesn't take away the scales. It doesn't sure. answer a question for me. Mm. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's just an extra fun thing to consider for me. Fair enough. Um, I think it's the same as, like, I would hope anyone going through this playthrough. Like, obviously, I have a bit of a reputation for solving and poking at things nah. before they happen. I've never seen anyone not be told not to watch your playthrough because you might spoil it for all them. But, like, <laughs> you know, that's, like, the same as anyone sitting down to read a story with their friend. You're going to have a different experience based on what your friend says, regardless of if they're right and wrong. The yeah. onus is upon you to think about it, right? And that's the same for me here, where... 
like I know things uh, that exist in this. I knew many things that exist yep. in this story that people would say were incredible spoilers. Uh, incredible spoilers. Many, many severe spoilers, which we'll talk about when they appear. Yeah, but I'm, uh. I'm having a having a grand old time. Are you implying yeah. that there are spoilers that are still to appear, Ben? Yes. Wow. Is that a spoiler? There are at least two things that I can think about that oh I know you've God. seen Holy that shit. have yet to appear. Oh. So spoilers for spoilers that your crows experience. Oh God, devastating! Um, yeah. Devastating. I mean, I still get people telling me like, "You spoiled Tepe," and I'm like, "What do you mean I spoiled Tepe? You're talking about comics. Get out! Of, get out of town!" Anyway, personal, personal fault. But yeah, um, <laughs> something, I'm not something salty. Fight Ben in the comments. <laughs> fight me in the comments. But yeah, uh, I think it's kind of. Wrap, wrap this boy up, wrap tap. Like, in that same vein of like, if you're going to watch something with a friend or in a certain environment, like, I know from personal experience that depending on the time in your life, when you read a certain story, it might impact you incredibly or it might, you know, do nothing for you. Um, there are certain, like, narratives that I've read since then. Like, I think Little Busters might be a good example that, like, when I read that, I went really analytical on that shit and it didn't really, like, change my mind about anything. Good story, but it didn't, like, blow me away. But if I read that at the same time Hinger asked you would, maybe I'd be a, a crazy key fan. Maybe I'd be one of those guys. Um, but in terms of, of myself and, and Flex here... Uh, I said it. Yeah, experiencing this playthrough together as a pair is like, this is how we do. Um, interacting with people in the comments, people who are veterans, people who do know everything and are going to like let clues slip and I'm gonna let clues slip and Felix is gonna read my face and all that other bullshit. Like that's just part of how we wanna read the novel. Like this extended kind of experience with a whole bunch of people um, and recording our reactions and joking about is like, I mean, that's how Felix is experiencing the story, I guess. It's mm. very different from reading on your own, and that's that's amazing to me. Yeah, and I mean, as always, I never would have read this if we weren't doing it. This it's way. very true. I wasn't <laughs> going to say that, but you're, yeah. This is the only uh, environment that would have worked. I heavily spoiled. Meta, thank you for joining us on the post-edit recap. Yay! One Cut of this. Tsumi Cut Hiroshi. this. Put it in the recap. <laughs> We're done. We can just put that as the recap. That's that that's it. We like, don't need to yeah. do a recap this thank, time. Thank God, I won't have to pour my heart out oh, at the end goodness. of this when I'm. Oh, do we know we still have the? Because we do two two recaps. That was Shit, there's awesome. plenty of time for it. Let's go. Recap number two. I awoke from my dream, still oh. feeling excited. I must have had a very happy dream. I already forgot what it was about. It felt as if there was a switch that automatically made me forget my dreams when I opened my eyes. That sounds weird. All I could remember is that it was a very happy dream. Hmm. It sounds like a really vague way for Keiichi to avoid saying what the dream was about. But what was the dream, though? I don't know, but it probably make you very happy, Ben. Oh. I what? looked at the ceiling and enjoyed what? the happy feeling for a while. I'm concerned. It was Sunday today. Outside the window, I could hear morning bird song that sounded totally different from what I heard on weekdays. The morning bird song on weekdays sound like they're in a rush, as if they're telling me to hurry to school. But on Sunday, it's different. <gasps> I could tell the birds are singing simply because they want to tell everybody how great a morning it is. I even felt like the birds that sing on weekdays must be different birds from the ones that sing on Sunday. You know, because birds, they get busy, they go to work, they come yeah. home. Well, and then there's, uh, there's other birds who are not They're working. They're migratory they birds, Ben. What, do you mean? what? Oh, because they, they, like, they migrate they away. away. Different no, birds right. come in, sing for the weekday, fly away, yeah. come in, sing for the weekend. <laughs> they tour. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, they go to the different venues. The day we're going to Higurashi Town, we're going in Namazawa. People going are so to ungrateful when the tours come to their town. Yeah. It's a, it's a community service, really. That's right. I wonder if there really are birds that only sing on Sunday. Probably. It's like a very luxurious job for some reason. It's a waste to listen to such a valuable bird song when you're not quite awake. As I fully awake and my normal crude personality takes over, I start feeling stupid. Ah, to even think that there might be birds that sing only on Sunday. I believe it, KG. I'm with you. As I yawned and stretched, my blood started circulating through my entire body. It felt good. I turn over and look at the clock, which says it's past 10 a.m. I used to go to my cram school since Sunday at 10 a.m. See? We're mm. addressing it. Cram school? That's the thing that happened. That was before I moved to Hinamizawa. Oh, backstory. My parents made me go to several cram schools back then. I remember that one I had to go to in the first and the third Sundays of the month was the hardest one of them all because I had to change trains several times to get there. I was never allowed to sleep in so late back then. Oh, man, that... Sleeping sounds in, like, sleeping in, that would be dude, nice. that sounds like responsibility. Oh, man. Man, I wish you could sleep in every day. Or any day. <laughs> yeah, that would be nice. I'm like... I'm Quit like, fantasizing 
I know. I go to the, we, we, we go to the movies semi-regularly with a group of friends, and yeah. I'm like, yeah, man, I got to sleep in this morning till like, 6 o'clock, and everyone's like, shut up, Felix! <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty great. My mom always woke me up early so that I didn't miss my classes. That's probably why I've always dreamed of being able to wake up whenever I wanted on a Sunday. Needless to say, I don't feel that way anymore now that I moved to Hinamisau. After all, I can always sleep till noon on Sunday now. My life has changed completely since I moved here. Before, I used to think living in a countryside would be really inconvenient. To be honest, I wasn't even interested in living here, but it was only the first few days that I felt that way. Now I don't feel attached to life in the city or its conveniences. When I think about what part of my life in Hinamizara I'm most attached to, I'd have to say, uh, it's probably my friends. Yay! I guess the real reason I'm being so sentimental is probably because I had so much fun yesterday in the water gun fight with all my classmates. Despite my age, I got so into it and had so much fun, but I, I bet the kids in the city wouldn't be able to play like that. No, I should say they wouldn't even want to in the first place. They wouldn't even realize how exciting a simple water gun fight could be. Is this the part where we find out that Keiji tried to stage a water gun fight and someone got injured? It sounds right to me. I went downstairs and saw my parents watching a serious TV program, arguing about the topic together. Oh god. Ah, which one's first? Who's on first? You know what? You know what? You're going with mother. Okay. Has, is that how the rule worked? We, was it? No, the rule was, was that it? we have the rule, but we change the rule every time it, it comes up because we don't remember know, the rule. Because we don't write them down. I'm going to say that it's the mother. If okay. it's the mother, we get 10 points. Okay. If it's the father, then Ryuji gets 10 points. Okay. And if it's neither, if it's like the TV or some shit, we get 15 points. 15 points. 15 points. 15 points. 15 points. And if it's Keiichi, then Ryuji gets like all the points. All of our points. <laughs> yes. All of our points. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. That's a gamble. That's oh a God. gamble. It's all of our Let's points. Go. If it's Keiichi, this turns out to be Keiichi. We're done. Oh God. First of all. Hold on. Wait. Stop. What? You have to read it as Keiichi. No! Otherwise, no, but we, I, could, we could lose all our points. What? What are you talking about? You know how when you when you're gambling, like when you when you're playing. But I want to do the voice. When you're playing gambling, I games, like getting lines. You could you could you could lose. We could. Or you could play it safe, and then you we just have win. a small penalty. No. We could take a small penalty what? right now to avoid losing all of our points potentially. What? No! I have I, to read it as Keiji. We have to take the point. We, we have, so but we, I want to do it as my we, voice! We have to give away the point. I points. like my voice! Or do it as your Keiji voice. You, uh, is this gonna be talking about Kamurika? That's basically your Keiji voice, okay, right? It's just, basically it. Just sound angrier. Ah, first of all, telephone... <laughs> first of all, telephone safety uh, service charges in Japan are way too expensive. It's because the state has a monopoly. And and then what? Shit. And <laughs> Fuck. Oh no. Now what? Oh. We don't know who it is. Now I think it's father, but like, what do we do now? We're screwed. I can't just do Keiji for both voices, can I? You have to. All right. But private companies are profit oriented organizations. They're not exactly charitable. I wonder if they can maintain uniform service nationwide. Oh what? my God. <laughs> Points. Wait, wait, what? It's 15 points is away. That what we, is that what that is? That's what you said! Oh my god! Alright! That's right, at least <laughs> it's not however many points we had. That would have been bad. That would have been real bad. 15 points! <sighs> my heart was pounding oh there. Oh my god, I'm gonna yeah. just die. The experts on TV were arguing about the same thing. <sighs> it seems like there's a possibility the telephone service will get privatized. I'm too young to understand how privatization could make things better. I can easily assume that people will start talking about privatizing the postal services in the near future, future too. My parents are arguing about the topic fiercely, but they got along very well. Let's put it this way, they got along- Wait a minute! Was that actually the parents? But it was just saying that- It TV was the parents! It was the parents! Oh. Ah, you were wrong! Fuck! Well, you know what? That's fine. I guess we should guess 20 points then. It's 20 points?! Wait, what for?! Because it was- We took Keiichi, but it was his dad and his mom, 10 points each. And we, it was a TV, he gets 35 points. What? That's not how that works! Oh, you get all his points back, we don't know who he was talking though! 35 There's points. There's no points! Oh. What? Felix! You can't just give away the points like that! We need those! <sighs> we need those to live! We need those to fund the show! If Richie only. doesn't need the money! He doesn't need the money, he's about to lose Kikoni, he's gonna make all the money! Let's put it this way, they get along well and that's why they argue. I don't remember seeing them getting along this well when we were living in the city. Uh, this is probably one of the things that got better since we moved to Hinamizawa. A cold relationship between parents doesn't bring any benefits to their kids. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Okay 
Peachy! You're up early today. Do you want to eat breakfast? No, thanks. I, I, I read that and I thought it said, do you want me to eat breakfast? Do you that want me like, to eat your what breakfast? What kind of a fucking question I've is I've made that? you your toast, but you were too late. <laughs> no, thanks. I'm going out today, so I don't need anything. Oh, I'm already eating it. Don't mind. Are you going out with your friends? Is it those club activities that you always talk about? Oh, this is a new room in the house as well. I hadn't pointed that out, but where is this in the house? I don't know. No, it's Fine. not a club activity day. It's the punishment game for the game we played yesterday. Someone rang the doorbell with perfect dramatic timing. Oh. I looked at the clock and noticed it's time to meet Rena. I guess I spent too much time enjoying waking up late. It's time for cuties. I ran upstairs to get a change of clothes. Oh my goodness, don't leave her hanging. I quickly changed and ran to the front door. Rena was chatting with my parents. It's pitch black out there. I always feel uncomfortable when my parents talk to my friends. I'm afraid they'll say something embarrassing about me. If they told Rena that I wet my bed till I was X years old or something, she wouldn't wait until Monday to tell everybody in my school or maybe even in Hinamizawa. Hey, Rena. <laughs> Good morning. I'm sorry for making you wait. <laughs> so polite. Keichikun. <laughs> Rena and my parents looked at me and laughed. Uh -huh. I said good morning and they laughed. <laughs> I'm sorry. I guess I was <laughs> too late. <laughs> like dramatically exits the room. My parents must have already told Rena some embarrassing secrets about me. I don't want my parents to tell her anything else, so I put my shoes in a rush and... Uh, Push Renner out of the house. My parents waved at us, smiling. Have, have a nice day, Renishan. Please take care of Keiichi. I would like to observe there is no balcony on that house. No. But there was a balcony in the in the picture inside. Maybe it's the other side of the house that has the balcony. No, it's impossible. The balcony, like, leading into we the forest. We haven't seen the other side we of the house, thus balcony. it does not exist. Well, that's not how houses work. Well, you it's like, a, well, you know, they're in, a, they're in a visual novel. It's probably like a TV set. They have a three-wall oh, house so amazing. the cameras can point in. Dude, you think that the Mayabaras have the budget for that, to have a three-wall house? Oh, no, they're probably paid to do it that and way. And they have, like, a reality TV show that's, like, being filmed in their house. Well, yeah, but they wouldn't be the ones with the budget. It'd be the networks. The networks that uh, were just on TV. That was product placement for the network that's oh running God. the show that they're in. This is some corporate, like, deep, nested shit. That's I why like we were this. talking about privatization. Oh, it's TV it's companies. They're talking about the company that owns them. Exactly. That's the one. We're on to you, Rook. Okay, she didn't get out of there. I had the you. chance. Take Rana, run into the hills. Get out of here. Go hide somewhere. How? Uh, don't worry. I'll take good care of Keiichi Kun. I have no idea why you'd have to do that. <laughs> I don't need you to take care of me. But I want to. I dragged Renner away from the house and we were on our way. <sighs> we rode our bicycles to the town of Akinamiya. It's a long way away. It's an easy ride to the town because it's mostly downhill, but needless to say, it's a hard ride on the way back. I felt like Renner was giggling whenever she <laughs> looked at me. I badly wanted to know what kind of embarrassing information my parents had fed her before I came downstairs. I tried to give her a new subject to talk about in order to get whatever she heard from my parents out of her mind. How come you're so close to my folks? Well, we are very close because we talk a lot. When you talk to my parents, I've never seen you having a conversation. I see your mother a lot at the grocery store. She's there a lot on special bargain and extra point days. We talk about noodles and stuff. Oh yeah, my mom keeps a close eye on those. She sticks notes like that in the refrigerator. They're always all about when and where she can get things cheaper. Whenever I see her at the store, we talk about what we're making for dinner that night and we do the shopping together. A few days ago, she told me that curry sauce was on sale and that she was going to have curry and rice for dinner that night, so I did the same. And with that, we've suddenly solved how she knew what Keiichi was having for dinner in Arc 1. It's very clever. It is very clever. I'm very impressed with that. Rukishi's writing is getting better! Like, <laughs> like tangibly. It could have taken a, few, uh, a, a, bit, a, bit, a bit less time yeah. to deliver that enormous block of text. <laughs> but I enjoyed it. It was good. That was excellent. And it wasn't like a big dramatic thing. It was just, yeah, I like chat with, I chat with your mom. It's great. Pristine. It's fantastic. I remember we had curry and rice the day before yesterday, so you had curry and rice that day too, huh? That is yeah. in fact what she just said. That's what I said, Keiichi I'm glad she got ears open. Because she repeated himself. We yeah. just complimented her. Look, off just, let me finish. I just, I just, why can't he just... Felix, you gotta calm down. Go. I'm gonna have to take you home. Yeah. It's not gonna be good. Ben, this is my house. That's, that's the point. To my house. We're going all the way out to my house, and that's how it's going to be. 
I'm going to record there. It's going to be terrible quality. Mm. But that's how it's going to happen. You won't have any of your setup. Okay. I know. You're okay, feeling the button. Yeah, you better. Click that button. You had bought curry, didn't you? Pork was on sale that day. So your mom and I both bought some. So when I was eating my curry at home, I knew you were having the same dinner. How? Star. We've also simultaneously addressed the fact that Renner is doing shopping for her family. Apparently. Question mark. Yeah. So she knows what I'm eating for dinner almost every day. She's didn't an independent bother me, girl. I did kind of feel embarrassed. Self-sustaining. I usually see your father with your with your mother at the grocery store. Your parents get along very well, huh? Uh, yeah, they like to go grocery shopping together. Uh, I think they're a good couple for their age. I think it's very important that your parents get along well. It's cute that they still go grocery shopping together. That's enough about my parents. What about yours, Renna? Oh my god, they're about to exist! Here we go. Oh no! We're excited. This can't go well. Now what do we find? I'm sure there are no deep dark secrets about Renna's Do they parents. get along well? That's a great question. Yeah, they do. They're always hugging and kissing, so... How? I feel like there's no room for me in the house. Really? There you go. Interesting way of yeah. putting that. Her parents are a lovey-dovey couple, huh? I never met Renna's mother, but I'm imagining she's just like Renna. I could easily imagine her mother going crazy about the spot her husband missed when shaving because it looks so cute to her like sesame seeds on white rice. What? She must love to touch her husband's chubby stomach because it feels so soft. It's funny how easily I could imagine her mother doing those things. Oh my god. He is insane. <laughs> What? Are you around there, Kate? You're like you're gonna choke and fall off your damn, damn feet. Sorry. What's so funny? I was just imagining the fan art of <laughs> us doing the same thing. That doesn't exist. It's hideous. I've never seen it myself. It doesn't oh, exist. That is bad fan how did art. this happen? Nobody draw that. Oh, God. Unless you can draw it and make it very cute, oh, then please do. God. Let me know in the comments if you want to draw so Keiichi and Renna fan art. <laughs> oh, it's because I do no exercise. Oh, God. <laughs> It's all my fault! But I love you all the same, oh, you damn no. goof. You gonna read your line? I did, I said, why so funny? Oh, sorry, I missed it in my nightmares. I know, I know, you oh. were just so consumed by your hatred for K-Runner shipping. I'm curious about your mother now. I'm going to go to your house next time and meet your mother. And we're gonna oh. have a TV show that goes on for a really long time. Back in the 90s? Patrick Harris. Oh, it's a different show. Don't worry about it. Okay. What? No, 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 no. You talk to my mother, it's only fair that I talk to yours, isn't it? Uh, how? Uh, oh, but uh, my mom isn't as interesting a person as you think. She's normal and boring. <laughs> <laughs> She's normal and boring. Yeah, she knows that Casey's mother's an academic, right? <laughs> how fucking boring these people are. Uh, I'm kidding, I'm, I'm sorry. Wow! Academics. You're academics. alienating all of our audience! I love you guys. Our audience of exclusively academics and Casey's parents. <laughs> And technically us. And us. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're, we're halfway in the middle. Anyway, she's normal and boring. Just like us. Uh. I can even picture how she looks. I know it. She looks just like you, doesn't she? Uh, what? What? No, no, she doesn't. She, she doesn't look like me at all. Why are you acting so weird? Your reaction tells me everything. Your parents must be lizard people living underground, and your what? house is on the surface. Oh you my. keep turrets out front, not to stop people from getting in, but to stop them getting out. The lizard people? Or the parents from going to meet the lizard. Wait, what? What happened there? What happened? What is... My brain is fried. <laughs> what? It just escalated so quickly. I couldn't keep up with what you were saying. Why are there lizard people? Why is this science fiction? And why are you acting so weird? Your reaction tells me everything anyway. I'm really interested in your mother now. I'm going to see her sometime. <laughs> Be prepared. I'm interested in your mother now. What? I guess the relationship is over. No! How? No, no, no way! If you really do come to my house, I'll be so mad at you. Your daughter has been a great friend to me. No way, it'll be more fun if I say something oh like, God. I've been seeing your daughter and I'm serious about it. <laughs> <laughs> How? If you come to my house, I'll tell me chan the others the stories from when you were little. Little. What? What? What kind of stories are you talking about exactly? Well, the, the one that I heard from your mother is about when you were four years old, and the other one is about the slide when you were six years old, and, and, and another one is about when you were... Ah, you got me, Renis. <laughs> I'll never get within a hundred meters radius of your house as long as you live. As long as you live? Oh, no. Keishi, Keishi's got a plan here. No! Keishi, no! Murder no. and trespassing. No! In that order. In that order. We're gonna de-escalate. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Damn it, ma'am. I'll remember this. 
I'll get you next time, Batman! We arrived at the station. The place we were going today is right near there. Oh, There's a restaurant called Angel Mart. We were meeting up with the others there. I was surprised when I saw the restaurant. It's usually a normal and quiet restaurant, but today there are many people in front of it. They didn't look like they were waiting in line to get inside. They look more like they are just there loitering around. They should just line up and go inside like normal people. Wow! What's going on? I've never been here before! There are so many people here! Uh -oh. The restaurant has a big event today. I heard that many people have come from very far away. There's a flag saying dessert faster in front of the restaurant. Lots of birds. I heard that Angel Mort holds events like this several times a year and a lot of people come to attend from all over. I've personally never been before. <laughs> today, only people have a ticket can get into the restaurant and one ticket allows up to four people to get in. Wow, and if we count them all up, that means we have exactly enough for my arm, my leg, <laughs> my other arm, what? and my other leg. What? Because that's how many limbs you need to shovel food into your mouth. I see, I see, I see. I see, so these people <laughs> are waiting in line for friends who have a ticket. N not exactly. Some people have tickets but don't have four people to go with. So you're saying that these people are just here to find someone who'd like to share their empty seats. At that time, the crowd of people roared in excitement. What was going on? <gasps> what was going on? Oh, this guy has a ticket! Hey, strong and sorry, what are you I could bring in three more of them! How rude! Please let me join you! Oh, if you let me join you, I'll honor you with a rare Angel Mort trading card! I've come with Frontfield's newest summer market issue, and it's limited edition book! I'll give you the beta version of Higurashi with the mode that lets you change your boy's outfits! Keep moving on. <laughs> no! <laughs> Make a deal with me for a modded version of G's figure. Oh my god. I'll give you 10,000 yen in real money. UFO! Real money trading is prohibited! Report! 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 I can't! Bad! Bad! That was rubbish. There you go. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, the fans of this restaurant are a little scary, huh? Anyway, what about our ticket? There are five of us. How are we all going to get in? <gasps> How are we going to do it? Shh. You know, Me Chan's family owns this restaurant, so, you know. I remember, me on can, in fact, not count. <laughs> wow. As a member of the Yakuza, she, in fact, cannot count. Rena makes a fist and gets all fired up. Well, yeah, because if they could accurately count, then money laundering wouldn't work. It's true, it's true. Well, let's go. We're going to dash through the crowd without stopping. That seems like the best course of action, actually. Uh, okay. We nodded at each other. Since we were a group of two at present, it looked like we had two more seats to share. These people might try mobbing us in order to get a share. We crouched down, getting ready to run. The crowd of people seemed to notice us. Like an angry mob. Look, look at them! They're gonna force their way through! I need straw fill a booth alone with his girlfriend! How reprehensible! We're going to sit with them and crush their lovey duffy mood! Fight back to the last round! Show them the iron wheel of the Germans! What?! Is there a tank there? There's a Sherman tank? Wait, yeah, why are they Sherman? Tackle us. Sherman? You know what doesn't matter? Sherman? Let's go. They have a Sherman, Sherman tank. They have a Sherman tank. Let's go. Let's keep going. They do whatever it took to stop us from getting inside the restaurant. Today is the day me, Chan, and the others suffer their punishment. If we can't get inside, our victory yes, they will have been in vain. I can't let that happen. We exhausted ourselves to obtain that victory. To watch our friends undergo the punishment is our right and... Our duty as well. No matter how cool we sound, what we're really after is one thing. Oh, I can't wait to see how Seneca Chan and Rika Chan look. I'm taking them home with me. Oh, uh, you, young couple, to share your empty seats that's so nice and quiet, Hike. <laughs> we won't let you through. I won't allow you to use your ticket for yourselves. You have to share the empty seats with us. They reached their hands towards us like zombies. They gradually got closer and closer. Uh, we were actually taking it easy, though. Uh, In fact, I'd say the situation was rather enjoyable. <laughs> it's like we're still in the middle of the game we played yesterday. Yeah, it's getting fun. Let's kick their asses. Damn right. Yep, roger that. It's a lot easier to fight against them than against me, Chan, and Sadako Chan. You know, you know? <laughs> Indeed. I'd say with even 20 to 30 of them, it's still easier than fighting against the other club members. They don't have enough people to stop us. Without real ass guns, anything is possible. <laughs> Great, let's do this. Yeah!
Whoa! Our enemies number about 20 to 30, but fortunately, given that I was After Effects on top of the Matrix in the last episode, yes! I've learned how to do that thing where you hold onto a pole and step around it like you're stepping in a circle, kicking everyone in the face as you Dude. go as their rubber-like corpses fly against the wall. They CGI-like corpses, yes. you would say? Yes. If they wanted to stop us, they should have gotten 10 times more people than that. <laughs> Wow, he zoomed in again. <laughs> we teleported into Angel Mort. Well, that's a wrap of a body yes, essence chapter. We have finally. <laughs> yeah. We've uh, we, we've we've made it to the part of the the arc that I'm going to. It's gonna be the best part. <sighs> I hope you're ready for the best part of the entire arc, the Angel Mort part, the punishment game bit that you love. Welcome to Angel Mort. <laughs> Today, we're holding a special event. Do you have a ticket? God, no! Um, uh, we don't have a ticket, but we were told to give our names. Uh, Renner, are you going to catch you my bar? Let me check on our list. Please wait for a moment. Seems like many fans of this restaurant aren't normal people. I bet they try getting with lies or fake tickets. No wonder this waitress makes sure to check the list. Anyway, those people were just too freaky back there. There's no way that normal people could get through them with that. A struggle. <laughs> you might be right. <laughs> but nobody can stop me. How? Stop. You sure did them in. Did you use your elbows or knees? You Both. hit them right in the middle of their faces. You're a scary person. <laughs> the way you ran and swept them off their feet with super fast invisible jabs was incredible. It even gave me a chill just thinking about it. That's because they tried to sabotage my chance to take my girls home with me. Stop! They must look so cute today, I'm taking all of them home with me. When you're in cute mode, nobody stands a chance. Damn right. I sure hope they admitted their loss after being beaten up that badly. You did great too, Kate Chicken. At first I thought you'd be engulfed by them, but when they became more quiet, you let through they with, with tears in their eyes. What'd you do to them, to them? Oh, nothing really. I just told them that I'd get into the restaurant and make sure to see everything they wanted to see, and I told them, you might have to shed tears now, but I believe you can get a ticket next time. Well, what about line? I don't know. It just, did you click? I don't think I did. Go here. <sighs> That's all I said, but they seem to understand me. I understood you, Keiichi. You with your heart of romance and, and pervity, perviness. You're so good at that sort of thing. You know, making people listen to you. Yeah, you show how clubs, magician. Duplicity. They fucking fixed it! Oh, Mega Game was saved! Oh, thank God. I feel validated as a human being now. I'm just gonna edit Duplicity over the top of that. No! You can't take this away from me! This is my victory! Ah! They're all calling me that now. Can't you please come up with a better name? No, the magician Duplicity is perfect! <laughs> I'll think about it. Ran aloft. Loudly. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Thank you so much for waiting. <laughs> yeah? I confirm your name's in the list. I'll take you to your table. Yay! Please follow me. There's an exclamation point there. Put some gusto in it. Oh my goodness. I did. I breathed out. Uh. The waitress led us to our seats. The restaurant was completely packed today. It made for a cheerful but sort of a crazy atmosphere. All the customers in the restaurant were very unique people, just like the ones loitering around outside. Mm. There was an aura of excitement in the store, and it also smelled a bit sweaty. Can I like this room? How dare you? What? How? It's not great ventilation here. You plugged it up with tape so the insects wouldn't get in. It's your choice. Do you want insects or do you want sweat? They're also talking <laughs> excitedly using the special terms that I don't understand. Oh. Again, just like the people outside. Oh god. The oh, angel board is all about the uh, uniform. You taste food. Uh, do you want me to just take this? I don't know if you With can handle it. With your tongue. Okay, good. But in angel mort. Yeah. Two. Okay. Where's the waitress with the? I don't see her today. <laughs> Moho! You need to check the ship roster if you like girls with those things. You have to come on Tuesdays and Thursdays after 9 p.m. If you like girls with small melons, you have to come in on Fridays after 5 p.m. I regret coming here today. I regret everything. I regret everything. And at the God. same time, 
I was really glad that I didn't lose the game <laughs> yesterday. This punishment might be a bit easier for the girls. Oh! But as a guy, if I had to undergo this punishment today, I would have been kicked and punched by these crazy yes. customers because they would have been burning as with a, anger. As opposed to being, like, sexually abused. Anyway, maybe cut that. <laughs> God. Maybe cut the truth? Maybe cut the truth. Maybe just don't let us talk about how weird this scene is. Nah, it's too late, Ben. All right. This We're is committed. hideous. This is hideous. Melons. Big, juicy melons type hideous. The punishment is as follows. The losers have to wear a costume that was randomly chosen randomly. and help with the event at Angel Mort as a waitress. <laughs> the winners can enjoy eating desserts receiving service from the losers. Adorable. When this punishment was announced, I'd actually prepared myself for the punishment because I'd thought I'd lose the game like always. But you don't always lose. I was losing a lot recently, so I didn't think I could win. Statistically, you are going to lose a lot. There are five of you. I assume Renner felt the same way. Who could imagine Renner and I would do so well as to win? You're great, Keiichi Maibara. <laughs> you made me proud. <laughs> what a fucking narcissist. Here Everybody we go. started shouting, clapping their hands, and whistling for joy. <laughs> I don't blame them. Oh, God. They came here just for the event at Angel Mort. None of them expected to see the waitresses wearing different costumes like this. Oh, good God. Well, this is, um, this is a thing. For future reference, this is the outfit that Rika rubs her butt against the windows. Yeah, no, we've we've been over this. Did I tell you that it was this outfit specifically? Yes, because you did. okay, well there you go. Um, it's I, I don't me. Uh, no, why would you do that? Uh, just put it back. Put it back. Uh, I don't want to look. Uh, Let's just get through this as quickly as we can. Uh, me. Chan, I I'm taking you home with me. Wait, calm down, Renna. You can't take her home yet. She has to finish her punishment first. Oh, God. Rika Chan appears with glasses of water and wet napkins on a tray. They drew lots to decide on the costumes. Rika Chan's costume is the uniform of Angel Mort, which we use regularly for punishments. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Angel Mort. Rika Chan put the glasses of water and the wet napkins in front of Renner and me. Me. How? Oh, it looks so adorable. I'm taking you home with me. Renna raised her weird voice and everybody in the store followed suit. Oh, I'm taking you home with me! Everybody started shouting the phrase. Before I. Did I just skip something? I don't know. Before I knew it, they were surrounding at our table, trying to burn the scene of Rika Chan serving customers into their minds. Me. How? Oh. Rika Chan, you look great in that uniform. How? Oh. Me. It's embarrassing to have everybody look at me like that. I agree. Hmm, there's something different about the uniform, though. Uh. Good, 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 good eyes, my son. Allow me to explain. Oh my God! It's Tamina Gun. Allow me to explain. Can, can, can we take, can we take points for that? Can we take points for Tamita being in this in this we, we bar that he shouldn't be in? Can we take, can we take points? I think we take a couple points. Let's take like three points. Let's take three points. Tomita, three points. Yeah, that's good. Done, easy. Tomita Kun, <laughs> our underclass man. Who's way too young to be here, as is Rika. As is Rika and, and Sadako, I assume. Oh, Tomita Kun. Akamura kun too. I can see you there. I didn't know you guys had a ticket. Oh, that's not important right now, my ass. And the important thing here is that the uh, uniform for is satisfying today. As you uh, already know, the uniforms of Angel Mode are designed to bring out the most of a mature woman's features. Therefore, it's normally required to have certain bubbly proportions to wear this uniform. In that sense, this is the least compatible uniform for Frutus and because she's still in early stage development. Uh, plus, the other problem was that the restaurant couldn't find a uniform in Frutus and size. That's why it was necessary to try various measures in order to facilitate a punishment that is to wear the uniform of Angel Mort. Therefore, they came up with the idea to use a school swimsuit. And it created an impossible combination of said swimsuit to the uniform of Angel Mort. It's so essentially even God couldn't see this coming. Casey, I want to be like you when I grow up. <laughs> <laughs> the line's not done. <laughs> Discuss your fruit is in the developing attack power, but far beyond her normal statistics. She also gained elemental enchantment, status impairment, a huge increase in her critical hit rate, and until then, she's also given increased invisibility time during power ups. 
Do you understand how great this is? You do, don't you? Let me put it another way. Like what do you understand always says? I'm taking it home with me. <sighs> I'm sorry, it's still your line. No, you can. I'm the one who's taking her home. But I understand exactly how you feel. I'm taking her home with me. Tom and Akun and Akamura Kun held Rena's shoulders and they shouted the phrase in excitement. The phrase had spread throughout the entire store and was now out of control. Anyway, Tom and Akun and Akamura Kun surprise me sometimes. For their age, they're so good at giving passionate speeches. They'll probably make it big in the future. Just like me. We're a Mi Chan and Sadako Chan. I can't wait to see them. At that time, the crowd sent up another roar. I heard Mion telling them to let her through. I don't remember what kind of costume oh she picked. Oh god, I don't want to look. <laughs> Kisa, what what's going on? It's the baseball boy. Oh my god! I've missed him! Oh my god, what was his voice? Why are there so many random characters? He was like a very similar voice though, to be fair. Yep. It was basically the same voice. Ugh, Kisan, what, what, what's going on? Maybe not, I don't Maybe think it was right. more like anime. What's wow. going on? C C Kaminikun! Oh! Of course you're here because this is a dessert fester and you're a dessert maniac. Hey now, how have you been doing? It doesn't matter how I am. More importantly, what is that? What's going on here? Kaminikun was in a state of great excitement. Whoa! Thick veins were displaying on his forehead. The source of that excitement appears through the crowd. Why does this keep changing <laughs> tense? There we go. It's me on. There she is. It's the fucking hands. <laughs> what? The hands? What's with the, what's with the fucking head? What's with the fucking hands? <laughs> the little balls. They're like little kitten balls. Little kitten paws because she's got a tail. You get it? Ugh. Little color. There's no turning back. Oh my god. I guess I've got to do what I've got is to do. Is she gonna say fucking nyan? She gonna say nyan? Welcome to Angel Oh Wars. god. Here's your ultra rare cheesecake. Oh no. Mion appeared with a cake on a tray. Oh, now I remember what she picked for her costume. <laughs> oh, Mi Chan, you look so cute too. I can't believe I'm doing this. I was going to wear, make K Chan wear it. <laughs> Ugh, my apologies on this costume is extraordinary too. Plus, because you know her in person, because she's a leader of the club who has never lost any case in the past. And also my class president who's always planning everything. You can enjoy this 500%. Even the class president who doesn't know what losing is can escape the punishment your club is. So terrifying. What? <laughs> What? Oh, please explain what is going on here, Kay. One point to your sheet. You know what? That's fine. I thought we were friends because we shared a huge buffet together. How could you not tell me about such a wonderful club? I can't believe you didn't tell me about this. If I knew about it, I wouldn't have joined the baseball team. I don't think this is the voice. It doesn't matter. I'm too scared to check. It doesn't matter. Where is the reset button for my life? The crowd roars in excitement. What a great club. I'm gonna read that line. Nah. How? Oh, you can't join our club. All the people living in his name is Eric and John. Star. What? Did I have to move my certificate of residence to an officer? What's the dip? That's all right. I'll s you ran the guy <laughs> in the back. I'll swap with you. I'm leaving him as well. No, that's it. We're out. We're of strapped here. in together. As I was saying in a very heartfelt moment at the beginning of this episode, I we are reading this. I wasted my retirement. This is happening. The last video. This is happening. This is happening. This is the bit. This is the bit with the. Can I re retire? No! <laughs> you can't re retire. Then you fade to obscurity. Nobody wants that. Oh, that's, you're that's right. Depressing. Oh. You have to rise to the challenge like Keiichi and K and uh, Tomino Nakamura. You can't do it! Stop there, Rena. <laughs> Population of Hinamazawa might double by tomorrow. Oh my god. Wow, that uh. means Tuck and will have twice the body count. What? What? Anyway, this is a beautiful punishment, K. 
Costumes that make women look beautiful are like decorations or desserts. A shortcake, for example, is just a sponge cake if you take away its decoration. But if you decorate it with whipped cream to enjoy the wonderful and mysterious harmony that layers and layers of beautiful decoration create, you can enjoy it with both your eyes and your tongue. Oh, star! That's why this combination of a sailor-style school uniform and gym shorts is wonderful. Is that what those are? Wonderful. Yes, it is. You got the school uniform top, you got gym shorts bottom, you got the cat ear collar or the cat collar and the tail. They're both ordinary school clothes that each is tasteful its own right, but let's put that aside for now. And school uniform and gym clothes are in the same category, namely school clothes, but they've never been combined together. It's just like a strawberry daifuku. Nobody thought they'd taste good together, but the combination actually brought out an unexplored and unknown taste to this world. Kay Chan, he's calling you Kay. <laughs> he was so done. <laughs> I didn't know you were friends with this pervert. Oh, we're best friends. I'm trying my best to not be friends with him. Mm. Woo! What, what is it? What is it? What is, what's happening? Oh, it's your boy! <laughs> he's here! He's here! All the permits in one building! <laughs> He's put his head in his hands. He's done, ladies and gentlemen. This is the end of the playthrough. Thank you so much for watching. It's Coach! I'm... <laughs> I'm no longer annoyed. Oh my god. I'm no longer annoyed with... Oh. With the content of the scene. <laughs> yes. I'm annoyed... What are you annoyed with, then? Is it me? Is it just me? That we've just <laughs> moved the old cast review session. <laughs> To the middle of the ass! Ravishi, you're a mad genius! I love you so much! Oh, now I have to do this voice! Oh, good god! How dare you! How dare you lie about son! Coach glared at me in anger. He was breathing hard with a scary expression on his oh. face. What do you mean? What did I do? That is what I'm talking about! Bang, bang, bam, bam! At the moment of his scream, three different metal buckets fell onto his head one after another, and a Chinese walk finished the job. <laughs> ah, she's adorable. She's fucking adorable. Ah! <laughs> well, I was prepared for this the moment my punishment was chosen. I tell you, Mac, I love all of this. Me, to see Sadako in a maid costume is like a matter of life and death to you. I love Sadako Chan's costume. It's so cute. I'm taking her home with me. I won't let you do that. I'm going to take her home with me, or my name is not Kyosuke Irie. No, 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 star. If you try to sabotage my chance to take her home with me, you get these. How, 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 how? Once Rena goes into cute mode, she becomes merciless. Yay! If a rock tries to sabotage her chance to take her favorites home with her, she'd break it into pieces. If it was a river, she'd fill it up with sand. If it was the sea, she'd split it in half like Moses <laughs> and walk right through it. Fucking what? <laughs> Coach got up on his feet like a zombie. Oh god! I couldn't believe he could still get up after being hit by all of her super fast attacks. Coach, what are you gonna do, Coach? <laughs> that doesn't work on me. Ouch! Ouch! Ooh. Uh, <clears throat> no, that doesn't work either. I'll get up, no matter how many times I get beaten, as long as there's a maid in front of me. Why? Because it's a dream of mankind. Oh! Ah! Oosh! Cotton Himmel! <laughs> no matter what, I'm taking a home, star! How? Here he was down on the floor, his body twitching. Rena just hit him with a barrage at point blank range. We're almost an hour into this. I love this shit. <sighs> anyway, this really is a sight to behold. I'm so glad I won the game, but at the same time, I'm scared to imagine how terrible it would have been if I'd lost. <laughs> this is absurd. While I have to wear this for the punishment, I cannot take it any longer. Sadako, your costume is a lot more decent than this old man's. You think wearing a maid costume is decent? You are completely messed up. Me. Uh, Rena, stop drooling and sit here. It's the winner's right to be served by the losers, remember? This is gonna get worse. How? I, I don't know which one I'm taking home with me today. How, how? Hey, waitress, what's your recommendation for today? Oh, God. What about this fruit parfait? The cream of 
also very good too. This is not okay. This entire chapter is not okay. You can get refills of water as many times as you want for free. Rena's nose was bleeding because she got to keep the waitresses in cute costumes all to herself. I should actually thank her for acting crazy like that because it made it me look calmer than I really was. As excited as her and my nose would bleed too if it wasn't careful. I now understand what a slack-jawed smile means. <laughs> Star. Hey, Rika-chan, I, I mean, waitress Sam, can you feed me? Oh no. Sure. Sadako, can you feed me too? And Mion, you massage my shoulders. It's not okay. <laughs> open your mouth. Ugh, I hate this. Hey, I told you to open your mouth. Ugh, oh, damn it. Why do I have to massage your shoulders? This old man's service is going to cost you. Gulp. The audience gasped at the sight. I bet Angel Mortar's never had an event as exciting as this one. Every table had four people squeezed in together, but only Renner and myself were at this table. And three waitresses in cute costumes were exclusively serving us. They were giving us shoulder massages and feeding us desserts, too. This had never happened before at Angel Mort, and it never will again. I see, there are waitresses. Then I'd like to have a glass of water. Oh, it was somebody else. I just went with it because I want to <laughs> give her a she... It's a point? A point? Okay. He deserves it after writing this scene. He deserves a point for this scene. No, 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 no. You, you don't understand. What is the joke here, then? What's happening? The joke here has been... Uh-huh. That if at any point... Uh-huh. We would get points uh -huh. from Ryukushi. Yes. We are going to steal... Uh-huh. From him. We are going to steal from him as many letters are on that page. <laughs> It's the last round, then! Let's just try and get some points. We'll be good. Hey, I'm sorry, but I'm not a waitress. I'll ask the real waitress over there for a glass of water, okay? <gasps> what? You're not a waitress? You can't serve me? That's right, we're not waitresses. We have no obligation to provide service to you. Hmm? Sadako, like me and I are here for the winners. Me. It's not fair! Oh my god, it's Kamedagun! It's not fair! All of a sudden, Kamedagun screamed, starting to blame me. What do you mean it's not fair? It's not fair that k can do such wonderful club activities, and I can! Not fair, it's not fair, it's just not fair! Uh, hold on, we took a certain risk to earn this right, so this is fair! We don't think it's fair either! Uh, we don't think it's fair either! Tamadakun and Akamura-kun were standing behind Kamadakun, oh uh, three points away. <sighs> First of all, you only won the game yesterday because we killed me on sand for you! We felt sorry for you always having to suffer punishment, so we let you shoot us! You should appreciate our sacrifice! Oh, <sighs> uh, really? Oh, you're tired, are you? This is getting interesting. God damn it. What do you think, K-Chan? What do you mean? What do you want me to do? Well, Kamurakun, Tomurakun, and Okamurakun, why don't you challenge K-Chan and Renner for the position of winners? Oh, boy. What? Uh, Mi-Chan, what do you mean by that? What do you mean? This means the scene is going to go on for so much longer. This is it. This is why we read Igarashi for this scene. The ultimate scene. They defeated many fighters and won a massive victory yesterday. I'm pretty sure a battle against these guys would be trivial, right? Kamurakun clapped his hands with glee. <gasps> Tamadakun and Okamura-kun nodded in agreement. They looked fired up already. Oh, God. Damn it, I have to fight against them here. I'm just thinking about tracking their voices. Oh, good God. Now that I think about it, the game was a tie. It'll be fun to have the finale here with a few extra fighters. If you lose the game, you join in on the punishment. Damn it. I hate it when you make it sound persuasive. <laughs> what do you think, Rena? Uh, no. I'm fine with it because I'm going to win. I'm taking them home with me. I wonder what kind of costume you'll have to wear. A star. I'm taking all of you home with me! She sure is motivated! You damn right! I can see Kamenikun was already in a fight for the ticket to paradise at Angel Mart. My two underclassmen were also eager to have a chance to fight against their members of the club for the first time. Excluding the day before because... 
That doesn't, doesn't count. count at all. Kusiki Ilye, reporting to volunteer for Sikin Ya! Well, well. Okay, let's start the game with these members. <laughs> Renner and Keijan, do you have any objections? I don't think you'd take an objection even if I had one. Well, don't you like to make the game interesting? <laughs> it's now or never if you want to change your mind. Tomorrow's son and Akamura-san. I already know you have to undergo, undergo the punishment if you lose. We know that. We're men too. We've always wanted to fight against you. They've seen the many horrifying punishments we had to suffer and they still had the courage to join in. I had to admit, they have potential. Kamada, the evil lord of Angel Mort, sneered at the two. <laughs> I never thought I'd have the chance to fight against you again, Kaysan. I'm going to fight fair and square this time. I didn't expect to fight you here at Angel Mort either. I'm pretty sure you'll be an even tougher enemy to defeat here than in the baseball game. <laughs> Kuchiri, the Count of Maids, laughed like he was afraid of the nothing. Count of Maids? Well, I'll show you how serious an adult can be. And, and, today here at Angel Mort, I'm going to have a helm that is for me alone. <laughs> I won't let any of you win. How? All right, I'm ready. I can't keep complaining, Mion. What kind of game are we playing? Oh my God. <laughs> That's the spirit. Make way, everybody. Waitresses, please bring it over. In the kitchen, the real, real waitress is standing by with many desserts on trays. It looks like the game is going to either be speed eating or a competitive eating contest. Manager, are you sure we can do this? Yes, go ahead and bring them the desserts. The more interesting, the better. I want this event to be as exciting as possible. The waitresses checked with their manager and started bringing in the desserts. Two of my underclassmen, Kamada Kun, Coach Renner, and I sat at the table together. A horrific amount of desserts was brought before us. I wanted to enjoy watching the cute waitresses placing desserts on the table, but right now I was in a fighting mood. I had no time for that! No time to Leo! The audience surrounding our table seemed to have grown excited too. I bet it didn't even cross their minds that there would be a serious battle at Angel Mort today, but they didn't care, as long as it's fun to watch. Listen up, this is a competitive eating contest. Whoever eats the most within the time limit wins. We already know how heavy each dessert is, so we will calculate the total weight of desserts you ate after the game is over, and whoever ate the most weight will win. And whoever gets diabetes? Wins by default. <laughs> when the words competitive eating came up, Kamada san smiled evilly. Damn it, Kamada couldn't mm -hmm. have the advantage. Ugh, me on san, can you count the two of us as one person? Because we always fight together like real brothers of the fucking sword. Mm. Yeah, that's fine. Yes. Since you're always together, I'll permit it. Damn it, having two stomachs for a competitive eating contest was an absolute advantage too. <laughs> What about you, Renner? I'm sure competitive eating is a bit of a hard game for a girl. Wow. No worse. If it means I can take these adorable girls home with me, I'd even swallow a table. I underestimated her. <laughs> Renner can overcome physical impossibilities once she goes into cute mode. That's true. She might even be able to eat food that's heavier than herself. Mm hmm Yes, hopefully she will eat lead. So no! the can be over. No! Keep going! We have to go deeper where you can see this. What about you? Are you good at competitive eating? My boss, son, as long as there's a maid and the conditions that I need to meet in order to get her, nothing is impossible to me. Now you see a black aura surrounding you, which I found very intimidating. The glint from the eyes that shone from behind his lenses was sharp enough to pierce an iron board. Damn it. He was in maid mode, which is equally as strong as Ren's cute mode. Oh, that's but true. Shit, I was the only one without any advantage. He, does, he doesn't have any modes. He needs to get himself a mode. Are you ready? Set, Set. eat. Oh. I mean, go. I wasn't ready emotionally, but Mion started the game without hesitation. Damn it! There was no turning back. I had to do this. There are many kinds of desserts before us. Some were easy to eat, and some were not. <laughs> so I had to get the dessert that's easiest to eat before anybody got it. What about the yogurt parfait? Hmm. Ah, uh, that's, that's gonna make you sick pretty quick. Oh yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And of course, everybody seemed to be thinking the same thing. Oh my god. It's, it's a fucking marathon a Everybody sprint. reached out for the same dessert as fast as they could. A white light flashed in front of our eyes and the parfait disappeared. My hands clashed with the others in midair. <laughs> You're too slow. I got a first. How? Renner took the parfait. She was literally as fast as lightning. Damn it, I knew it. There's no way I can beat Renner in the opening move. 
Renee took the parfait like a frog, catching a fly with its tongue, and swallowed it in a single gulp. She did all that in seconds. She's usually gentle and calm, but she's a totally different person right now. Really, it's terrifying. I see. I understand now. Why people say women always have such room for desserts. Is that something people say? I've never heard that in my I've life. I've never heard that Women have room for dessert? Isn't that everybody? Isn't this saying that you have a second stomach yes, for dessert? Yes, that is, that is the truth. Why do women have a second stomach for dessert? I don't fucking know, Doesn't make son. Sense. Doesn't make sense. But in the special environment of Angel Mort, Kamadakun wasn't far behind Rena. He grabbed a fruit parfait and swallowed it as if drinking beer from a mug. Ugh. Very dynamic. Uh. <laughs> Kay san, you're wasting your time. You don't even have a one percent chance to defeat me in a battle at Angel Mart. Just watch me. Tamadakun and Nakamura couldn't look at the extraordinary techniques Renner and Kamadakun are displaying, but they seemed to be very calm. They knew their advantage. As long as they kept a steady pace, they could eat more and eat faster ah. than anybody else because there are two of them. It's not just good technique. Renner and Kamada were eating very fast, but they might slow down in the middle. So this was going to be an unpredictable race. Son of a bitch, I won't lose this game. I shoved my dessert into my mouth and kept eating. Keep eating. I just kept eating. <coughs> ah, damn it. My mouth got extremely cold when I swallowed a bowl of ice cream. Bad technique. How could the others do this so easily? Ugh. There's an idea. I should melt it first. I could use some kind of microwave to heat it and then drink <laughs> it down. Plus, it would be easier for my stomach to take when it's not so cold. But how should I melt it? It would take too long to use a body of heat, and I didn't have any other sources of heat with me. I should just stick it, like, under my armpits and let it melt there? Is that what he's thinking? He's just gonna get a blender with a tube and shove it down his throat. That works! You know, it's just like stick it right they, in your veins! You, you know that, like, meat yeah. butter that the French do, where they stuff stuff down... I don't, but that sounds throat. terrifying. Oh, no, I do know that! Yes! Yes. That's, that's, that's awful. That's what Keiichi should that's do to himself. definitely Keiichi cruelty. That's definitely not okay. Vitus, can I order something? I'd like to have hot coffee. Could you bring it to me in a big pot instead of a cup? Coach! My bad, son. You're too slow. I also got the idea to melt it with heat. No, damn it! Uh, he was one step ahead of me. I couldn't also have coffee. I could order hot coffee, too, <laughs> but I'd still be one step behind him. I'd have to come up with something to melt my ice cream faster than hot coffee. He's spending so much time trying to figure out how to do this that he's already leaves behind. Oh, he's on screen. Oh! oh it's it's pink! It's pink! You know what that means, ladies and gentlemen? I don't know it all. Calm down, my bad, Keiichi. Think. Think hard. Keiichi couldn't hold his head, screams that line, and bent his neck backwards. When he gets like this, he always speaks everything that's on his mind. It's very fun to listen to. But I had to concentrate. I needed to win this game. I was going to keep eating as much as I can and take all the adorable goals home with me. We have read our narration! Oh! I have waited years for this moment. Actually, we started this in about, like... August? Yes! So, uh... Doesn't matter! I've waited years no, for this. No, it's more like September. Yeah. Oh, it sounds like things are getting very sad, but I just want to say, I've been waiting for this for Come years. Come on, hurry up! Don't leave me here anymore! But we're here to be emotional! Stop! No, we're done. What? Come on, do your lines, do your lines. What are you doing? You can't well, leave I'm just, me here. I'm just standing, I don't need it anymore, because it's running around. Shush! Just, shush you! Just carry it's on. time for emotions! <laughs> Star, I was having so much fun. I wasn't! Shush you. I was so thrilled that I felt like my heart was about to burst. I might have been acting totally on cue, but I didn't care exactly because I was having so much fun. Me Chan always comes up with such extraordinary games. Sadako Chan loves to play pranks. <laughs> Rika Chan is very sneaky, but it's impossible to hate her. And Keichi Kun. He's always so funny. I enjoy every day. I wish I could express how much I really do enjoy them better than by saying how happy I am. Sometimes I even feel anxious because I enjoy every day so much. There is as much misfortune as pain as there is happiness and pleasure in this world. And I know very well that they all come to you regardless of how hard you try. You'll have happy days regardless of how hard you try. You'll have unhappy days regardless of how hard you try. But that doesn't mean that you don't need to try hard. I can try to make my happy days even happier and last longer. In the same way, I can try to make my unhappy days happier and end faster. I struggle very hard to achieve that. That's why I'm going to enjoy the happy days I have now. 
as much as I can. I must not take them for granted because they won't last forever. They won't. One day, all of a sudden, these happy days will come to an end. I know it. That's why I was trying to enjoy the happiness I received today so that I wouldn't regret it, even if the world ended tomorrow. Throw back! I noticed my hands stopped moving while I was thinking about these things. When spending my time with my friends, I felt so happy that my heart might burst. I even love doing the punishments. They're fun for me. I have friends. I have a place where I fit in. I have time in which to be myself. I have a me that I love. I love everybody. I love Mi-chan, Sadako-chan, Rika-chan, and Keichikun. I love everybody in my class and everybody in Okonomiya. Ah, oh, when it stopped eating. I guess she went too fast in the beginning. Nakamura, this is our chance! We can defeat Ryugu-san! Well, with you, you're just wasting your time! You think you can def uh, defeat me in Angel Might and Eve? It's probably not one of them, it's probably someone else. It's Kamada. Uh, it's Kamada Khan! Because that's his special ability. Oh my god, you're right! Point three, because she's right. Uh. All of you, you're just wasting your time! You think you can defeat me in Angel Might? You're too naive! Renison, come on, I'll never forgive you if you let Coach win! <laughs> I'm not going to let anybody win! Oh, wait. Is we Rena? Wait, I, I was asking, do you think it's Renison or Irie? What's your money on? Oh, That's right. what I was asking. Oh! Because I was asking for opinion, because oh. I wasn't sure who Hold on, are you saying that we can't tell? Yes. Let's get to the bottom of this page. Oh my God. Punchy sounds, punch sounds. <laughs> Shush Here we go. All right. All right. All right. We need to do the lines. No, it's all right, Ben, because we have just gotten that many points. There you go. Tally that up. Let us know. I mean, you know, we'll know. Yeah, we'll know. We'll, exactly. we'll figure it out. But yeah. Sh um, I'm going to get to editing this moment. I'm going to be like, you motherfuckers didn't count it at the time. I know. Oh, you idiots. It's like 50 or so. Um, uh, it's got to be more than fifty. Yeah. I'm not sure. I'm not sure that is. Is that Rena responding or is that uh, Irie? I think it might be Irie. It's, uh, I don't know. Just go with Irishi. Oh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Irie. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to let anybody win. I can even sort the Pacific Ocean if you ask me to. What's wrong, Rena? Are you getting full? I guess you just have to watch my come from behind victory now. Am I right, everyone? Yeah! <laughs> There's like one guy cheering. <laughs> yes! That's when Oishi walks in. Yeah. Rena, what's wrong? I had left the table. <laughs> Excuse me, I, I have to go to the bathroom. I was just so happy. I, I didn't care who won or lost this match. Of course, it's more fun when I go crazy to try and win, but I could never be happier than this. If I could seal this happiness in a piece of crystal, I'd carry it around with me in my pocket. I use this heat to ward off the cold of hard days that are certain to come to me. I know they will. You're not truly happy when you feel happiness. When you're bored with happy days and don't even realize that you're happy, that's when you've achieved true happiness. You only truly feel happiness when you're in a freezing cold environment. That's the only time your heart can feel the warmth of even a small happiness. On my way to the bathroom, I saw a waitress and a, and a customer arguing at the register. The customer was a woman. The waitress was trying to explain the lady needed a ticket to get a seat because the, the restaurant was holding an event today. But the lady, saying she didn't know, was still trying to get a seat. And after a while, the store manager was calling and started apologizing to the lady. And she got a Sprite? She has a Sprite, apparently. All right, so on a list of people that this could be... Uh, set base piece. <laughs> you want to take this character? I and by you, you wanna. I mean, you were taking this okay, character. Okay, okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, hold on. Let me just. Re ah. I know how much you're enjoying that scene and how much you're into it, but you're gonna have to play this lovely lady now oh, with God. the little star tattoo thing. Right, and pink the hair. Want to check out the new sprite? How do we do that? What's the button for that? That one. B. There she is. That's hideous. Um, that's hideous too. Uh, uh, it's not a great sprite. It, out of uh, all the sprites, it's probably like my least favorite. Um, it's there not, we go. It's not good. 
What are you doing? We can't, just, we just can't it up. We can't read the current text like this. Oh, we can't. We can't continue fine. the story. Oh, right. We can't go next oh. button. Also, I think it's it's your line. Yeah, I know it's my so, line. I'm stalling to right. try to come up with a voice. I know. I know. So this oh. is like she's she's lovely, but she's also kind of bitchy. She's, you know, I mean, she's the kind of person who would be like, "Hey, can I get this exclusive event?" Like, but you need a ticket. She's like, "But I I don't care." Right. Oh, God. Good luck. Kelly. Is it your fault? Uh, you should have put a note outside that said we needed a ticket to come in or something. How do you expect me to know when there's no mention of it? There you go, everyone. Yeah, Thank you for you coming. Congratulations. Um, I'm sorry. I was uh, going to say the lie, but I was just so stunned that you did that. Yeah. I love it. I'm, uh, I'm so glad that you got to grace us with that. Uh, yeah. Okay. Interpretation. Um, Is that what you're sticking with? Is that the plan? Yeah, and I mean, to the the few of you that are from California and uh, closing the window right now. I apologize for you. I'm, I'm not apologizing. You're not apologizing? Um, Good thing I did. I just want you to know that I know how terrible that is, and I feel the same pain that you do. Okay. Yeah, there's, you don't like There's your, no apology here because yeah. it's mutual like, suffering. Guys, I just want you to understand that when you guys try to do like a Swedish accent, you're offending Felix. How you know, it dare makes you? It uncomfortable. How dare you, sir? <laughs> how dare you, sir? How dare I? The lady's eyes met mine. I guess who it might be when I heard the voice, so I was prepared. Her fucking eyes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Raina Chan, I didn't expect to see you here. Oh, star, hello. <laughs> what a coincidence. I held up my hand for a high five. She gave me one. <laughs> Listen, Raina Chan, they're so mean. They're saying that I can't get a seat because I don't have a ticket. <laughs> it, it seems that way. Well, I can't do anything about it, can I? I can still come to buy some cakes to take home, yeah? Yeah, of course, of course. You can choose anything you want from our selection. I don't well, think that's uh, 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 point to Ryukashi. Do we, do we not get a point for that? It was not obvious. Oh, does Ryukashi no, get points? No, I'm fine. Just give uh, Ryukashi a point. I'm sorry. That's all right. We, so we just got a that's bunch. That's all right. That's all right. We got to give him some slack. You know, he needs fine. it. He needs those points for his retirement fund and for that's right. whatever else we is that he's doing. We could just give him extras right now if you want. No. Oh. <laughs> he doesn't need that many. He doesn't need oh, that many. I thought you were being sympathetic here. No, I'm not. Well, come on, hurry up. This isn't the right scene to be sympathetic in. Um, hey, shush you. What? Yes, of course. I, I know. <laughs> I'm trying to the line here. God damn it. Yes, of course. You can choose anything you want from our selection. The store manager gave her a fake smile and led her to their showcase. I like this cute one. I think you like simple ones or shortcakes. Hey, uh, Raina Chan, uh, what would you like? What, me? Uh, are you buying me one? How? <laughs> you really like cakes, huh? You can get whatever you like. Um, um, ooh, that, uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I'll take a shortcake as well. Uh, really? There's so many other cute ones. <laughs> Everything looks so good, but shortcakes look the best. How? <laughs> okay, give me two shortcakes and one petite tree and all. <laughs> We're taking them home. Star. She imitated the smile I usually made. I replied with the same big smile. Then I smelled the strong scent of her perfume and it made me sneeze. Are you sick? Rena sans perfume and I never seem to get along. Wow, it is Tepe's piece. Funny that. Well, that was a weird scene. That was a very weird scene. Very weird. It's a good thing that Rena's here now. Yep. For some reason. Mm -hmm. What's up with that? I don't know. Good times, business card. Let's get through the tip, Let's boys. Tip, and then we can go across. Perfume and shortcakes. Rena, height one sixty-eight centimeters. Measurements of various things: B eighty-nine, W sixty, H eighty-seven. Hobbies. I guess. Do you wanna? Do you wanna read this? Nah, it's a business card. She's uh, handed it to someone that someone's you. Congratulations, sure. you've got right. privilege. privilege. I'm just saying, if you want to practice your privilege. voice, I know there's no shame. By the way, it's bust waist and hips. Bust waist and hips, or whatever. Just, um, just thought I should educate. Oh, you. I don't care. I guess. Hobbies. <laughs> 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 you said like I didn't just pick like three things and just went with it. What? Perfect. Don't worry. Don't worry. Hobbies. I am interested in outdoor gardening. I want to make tea with the herbs I grow. I always enjoy your funny and interesting stories. We should go out somewhere next time in private. Gentlemen's Club Blue Mermaid. Private manager, Rina Mamiya. That's it. That's the tip. There we go. We did it. All right. We made it. Well, next time. Next time. Mm.